I had done the first, the first season on The Amazing Race and some of the producers on The Amazing Race uh, subsequently went on to, to produce uh, Paradise Hotel, who was shot. It was, we, we did the editing here in, in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, at, uh, at uh, it was then Golden West, the uh, KT, with KTLA down in Hollywood, the heart of Hollywood, across from the St. Moritz Hotel where Jodie Garland stayed the first time she lived and she came to Hollywood. Um, so it was old, old, old Hollywood, which as, as a television f Hollywood fan, I just like, I love that stuff. I just love that stuff. Uh, 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 so we were in, uh, we were in um, there editing, but the show was shot at a at a resort in Acapulco, in Mexico. So they, but the show was on, uh, I want to say it was on twice a week, on Fox, mm -hmm. and the the premise of the show was that um, uh, we send uh, any, uh, 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 an un I think it was an odd number of people down to the resort. And each week, one person would be eliminated by by a vote, uh, and then would be replaced by uh, another person that 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 same day. So, um, what what happened was that there was a, a series of folks that were were voted out, and the same number of folks would would have stayed in, and, and until we had this one oddball fellow come in, and, uh, and the show just became amazingly amazingly interesting. Um, so, so there was the, the team of the, the team of producers who had w worked on the race, and uh, and they were aware of, of me. They brought me on. But I think throughout the the court, the show was initially s uh, scheduled to last 12 weeks. It it, it was so successful. Um, I guess this was in 2003. So it, at the time, it was a bit of a a, a phenom. Uh, uh, and subsequently, producers who were kids. At the time, told me Paradise Hotel. That's what made me want to want to do reality television. Um, so uh, 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 the, the, it was it was really it was supposed to be it was supposed to be twelve weeks. It was extended to four, sixteen weeks. Um, so it, it lasted the whole summer. And uh, um, it, as an editor, it was uh, editing uh, you know ten or more hours a day, six days a week. So it was really really difficult. But I uh, I because and it was also on twice a week, so we, we edited maybe a day and a half or so, or a couple of days, depending on where it landed, uh, before air. So it wasn't super tight, but it was, you know, we, we, had, to, we had to cut, cut these shows together. And um, uh, one of these executive producers, Larry Barron, um, he kind of became a, a champion of mine. He, like, he's, he liked what I did, and he, he, uh, he gave me the nickname, the, the, he used the Terminator, I guess, because I didn't, I, I guess I took less bathroom breaks. Um, so uh, I, 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 had a, I, I wanted to have this steely resolve, uh, because I was just, it, because I was new to reality television, that kind of reality television, where people were screaming and doing crazy things. So uh, as opposed to having a baby or buying a house, uh, so it was, it was like, you know, this, this new exciting medium. So I just really wanted to make a compression. So I just, you know, I really uh, wanted to, and apparently I did. So uh, it got to the point where I was, uh, you have the, you have, you're, you're going to air the next day, say, and you have the show and you needed to get it down to time. So you need to, you know, lock the show. So we would, uh, 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 the producer Larry Barron and I, we would, we would go in an edit room at eight in the morning and we would pretty much be in the room locking the show, whittling it down, you know, taking stuff out uh, and, and cutting it down to time uh, and, then, uh, and then have, uh, usually have, uh, who was uh, Mike Darnell, who was then the, the, the head of alternative programming at Fox, he would come in uh, later in the evening and he would, he would, if he had any final notes, we would watch the whole show again. So we were, we had about a 14 hour day or so uh, every time we would lock. And um, which it sounds crazy, but I, th I thought that was so much fun, um, you know, it, because, you know, you're on this, this tight schedule and you're just kind of building the show and these people doing crazy, crazy things. And, um, and then you get these final notes and it just, you know, I felt like, ah, you know, that's, that's TV, you know, it's not live television, but it's, you know, it's, it's semi-live. Um, so I, it was, it was a lot of, it was very, very difficult. It was, and uh, it, it was, uh, but I, you know, as I think a lot of people who, you know, a lot of people who are, I think humans like to be challenged. And when you're challenged and you see the results, 
and then your results are appreciated. That's uh, it's an extraordinary, extraordinary experience. So you know, uh, you, there's so many people that I work with, and you know, you, people are in this room who work, work really, really, really hard, and uh, it's because you know there's it's it's really rewarding to do that. So um, you know, I you know I I have I have fond memories of that very very crazy show.